Why are the calipers big, but the pads are small? It's a genuine good question, but I'm gonna answer for you. First, uh, let me talk about the caliper. The caliper isn't big for the pads. It's big for the pistons. Big brake kits use more pistons, four, six, eight, or 10. More piston means more clamping pressure, more even pressure across the pad, and better braking consistent at a uh, high speed. The rotors is the real upgrade, not the pads. Let me explain. The bigger the rotor, the more leverage, better heat dissipation and stronger material. The pad doesn't need to be much bigger because the radius of the rotor creates more braking benefits. Now for the brake pads, smaller the pads area, more pressure per square inch. A giant brake pad spread the pressure too much. A proper size pad creates high pressure, more bite, better heat cycle and less brake fade. Engineers size the pads for optimal friction, not for maximum surface area. High performance pads doesn't rely on size. Materials like carbon ceramic or performance metallic um, compound provides high friction, better heat tolerance, consistent uh, modulation. Uh, that's the word? I think that's modulation. I don't know. I probably butchered the hell out of that shit. So in theory, the pads doesn't need to be huge. Now for the caliper size, calipers needs to be strong cooling channels and rigidity. I know I probably butchered the hell out of that word rigidity. Big brake kit caliper have thickness housing because they need extreme stiffness under pressure, space for cooling airflow, structural support. Uh, Cause I mean, it supports multiple uh, pistons and room for strong bridges for cross bolts. All that make a caliper look big and massive compared to the brake pad. Uh, you know what I mean? I don't know if I explained that in a way where you can understand, but that should cover everything.